Welcome back to the channel and today in Instruments of Destruction we are going to be playing with gears and actually building something hopefully somewhat functional as opposed to this pretty pointless gear ratio thing I built just to test out the gears when they first came out. Um, but th there's this channel on YouTube called Brick Technology that builds all kinds of crazy contraptions with Lego and one of those contraptions caught my attention. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So this video right here 28 satisfying Lego mechanisms by Brick Technology. We're just going to be focusing on one of them for this video which is this one right here as you can see there are two gears involved and those gears are attached to a kind of uh like accordion style spring i don't know i'm sure there's an official name for this kind of linkage all right so at 25 percent playback speed i can analyze it in a bit more detail so i think this is the powered gear right here which is subsequently turning this other gear and they're moving together um kind of mirrored so symmetrically mirrored in a way that expands and contracts the base of these linkages you can see as it rotates around the circumference here these attachment points get farther away and closer as it goes to the outside and to the inside and that causes the entire mechanism to expand and contract so i figure if i just build half of this mechanism like the way it was built in this video it's expanding out on both sides of the gears but if i just delete this dark gray section and just leave this light gray section attached we're essentially creating like a pun a punching machine which we can use as an instrument of destruction in the game we're playing which is called instruments of destruction and that sounds like a fun experiment to me so let's hop back over to the game and see if we can get this thing working all right well first order of business is to just build myself a super basic vehicle that is going to carry this entire thing and i think this will do it they should do it right here <laughs> but just imagine oh man this <laughs> This thing's terrible at going through buildings, but not too bad at going up buildings. So yeah, just imagine this giant extendable accordion on top of this that is gear driven. All right, now that the easy part's over, it is time to build the hard part. So let me see how, how big are the gears that we're working with? How big are they? All right, there we go. I think, the, are those gonna line up with each other appropriately? Um, they seem like they're colliding with each other, aren't they? I gotta figure out what size is gonna work here. Are those gonna line up? No, I don't know. You know, I think I gotta turn symmetry mode off for now because I'm gonna stick to the original design as much as possible. Um, only one of these gears should actually be powered. So this is gonna be the powered swivel and this is responsible for rotating our gear. So the other gear is only gonna be attached there. So now if I turn mirror mode back on, can I use it even though my creation is asymmetrical? All right, so here's this gear. Oh, perfect, that does work. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, no. Oh, oh, I don't want that. I, I made a mistake. Attaching this to that block just makes it completely static and unable to rotate. I need this thing on a free swivel, which is this little block right here. All right, now rotating one gear should also rotate the other gear, which I realize this gear has smaller teeth, but I think that's fine. Let's see what happens if I have them both the same size, though, because I think they're technically both the same size in the video. All right. I don't know. I don't know. These gears aren't like perfect. They don't perfectly link with each other. So you can see this one's rotating very smoothly at a constant rate. This one's kind of ticking a little bit, more like a clock. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if there's if there's a way for me to make these rotate smoother with each other. Like, is this any better? Actually, that does look better, doesn't it? I feel. Ugh. I feel like once I have the linkage on here, it's going to tighten it up in a way that they're gonna have to move together just because the linkages are gonna be rigidly, more rigidly connected. This just sketches me out a little bit because they're like just barely touching at the ends. But you know what? Let's just roll with this. So far, that seems smoother. Okay, so now I need a smaller circle on top of these circles. Uh, this is this is much bigger. We're not using that one. Here we go. Roller. Oh, this one doesn't have attachment points, though. I think it'll actually just be easier to uh, do this. I know they're technically not circles, but close enough. There we go. Arc 90. Can I make these this small? Did, no, okay. Oh wait, there's a flex arc though. Can I make these this small? 
Minimum size is two, and it's just too big. If this could go down to one, it would be perfect. All right, well, you know what? The only backup plan is uh, the all-important wedge. Once again, wedge gang saves the day. All right. So now to attach the base of the linkage. I don't think mine is going to be able to be as cleanly uh, built as the original design because my free swivels have to be like a separate block, whereas the original design just kind of has like um, pipe fittings that can rotate within like the, the attachment. I can't really, I can't really do that. I'm gonna have to have like some gaps in between. Now is where I have to turn off mirror mode because we're gonna get a little bit asymmetrical. But if I have them both starting in the forward position, hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Can I rotate? I, I can I rotate this? Cannot rotate this part. Okay, I kind of need this part to be rotated. I need to build off at like a 45 degree angle here, kind of. Oh, I can rotate this part. Starting angle. Oh, perfect. Starting angle, 45 degrees, I think. Yeah, look at that. So now, is this right? Is this? I don't know. All right. Does that, that, that does not line up right there. We need this to line up. All right, so I don't have a lot of freedom of degrees on this. I can go from 45 to 37.5. That is a big jump, really big jump. But let's see now if these will line up with each other. Oh no, that doesn't look good. I think 45 degrees is like maybe the best bet. All right, gotta be honest, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Like, I don't know if this is gonna get me close enough to um, attach in the middle, you know what I mean? Like, let's see what happens right now. Though, See, those are not attached. There is a way to do this. I'm just gonna build 45 degrees out like that. And then I gotta build uh, this up here and 45 degrees out like this. And then I find the intersection which is right here is the intersection. All right, so on top of this is where I put the free swivel. All right, so now I have a visual reference of where they are going to intersect. All right, and then with the power of flex beams, I can just attach from A to B like this. Okay, now let's see, what does this feel like when it comes to uh, moving things? Oh, wrong button, hold on. All right. I think, I don't know. I don't know if that's what we're looking for or not yet. All right, we need to build off another 45 degrees. This is complicated. Basically what I've just done here has to happen again. So like, can I copy and paste this part and then move it up here like that? Okay, and then I copy and paste this part. This is such a weird way to go about this, but I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't, this is just my solution right now, trying to use my creative freedom to figure out how to solve this. Okay, now how does this look? It looks like it's kind of working, but it looks so wonky at the same time, just because it's not a straight line, it's like this weird thing, but maybe it won't matter. Yeah, I think, all right, yeah, I think this is how this works. We have two more free swivels like that. All right, so then if I copy all of this, can I just move it and it pace like that? Do I have a repeatable object here? Let's see what happens now. Okay, that, it looks weird, but it looks, like it's doing what it's supposed to do. This is the, oh, this is the jankiest replica I've ever done. Wait, as long as it works, and now thanks to the multi-select function and copy and pasting, this is gonna be so much easier to just expand off of. Now that I have the basic uh, part down, I can just keep doing that. And I'll do one more. Copy, paste. There we go. This is really long. Uh, oh no. No, we're fine. I think we're fine. Whoa. Look at that. Okay, how do, how do we cap it off? <laughs> Actually, you know what? Rather than capping it off, I'm just going to delete the extra little bit there. So now this is the end where we can add our destructive weaponry. Oh, you know what? I should have added an overdrive to this. You know what? Really quick, I'm just gonna add an overdrive. That way we can test this thing out, really ramp it up in speed as we uh, push the limits of it. All right, you know what? This whole thing actually needs to move back. So here, I'll select that. Every attached part 
and then we can just move it to the back because yeah, way too much weight of that is forward right now. All right, so now we shouldn't lean forward too much as we're doing this. All right, so I have it on 0.5 speed right now, but overdriven, so it equals out to one. But, oh, you know what? I don't like, this does not look very symmetrical. Sometimes it goes out straight. Sometimes it wobbles off to the side. And I, I almost feel like, is that, does that have to do with the gears? The size of the gears, perhaps? Can I change the size uh, after I've already built off of them? Let's see. Okay, that's easy. All right, let's see if this makes a difference. All right, it's going, oh, it's weird that it goes off to the side like that. Huh. All right, I mean, I think we've got it pretty much as good as it's gonna function with how I've built it so far. Uh, so let's start, let's add a weapon to the front of this thing. We can add a couple of weapons up here on these, um, oh, it, we can, it's gonna kind of be like a pincer too with the way that these blocks on the end are moving side to side. Ooh, that could be interesting. So what kind of weapons should we have? You know what? I kind of feel like these uh, chainsaws right here. Like that and like that. So now, are they heavy? They're not gonna be super heavy, are they? They're kind of super heavy, aren't they? So now it kind of feels like scissors. Look at that. Oh no, why is that doing that? Wait, what happened? Oh, these got completely out of sync with each other somehow. That's exactly what the gears are supposed to prevent. Wait, how did it end up being that one of these... Wait, how did one of these get shorter? All right, there we go. Now they're both the same size. Is that... Was that the issue? Okay. All right, this is looking better now. I hope. I hope this is looking better now. All right, that kind of works. All right, but we're not quite ready for destruction yet. Uh, I think we're gonna have to have an important piece of technology added to this thing, which is of course the attacher block. I want this thing to attach to the ground. That way during our most crucial moments, we're not gonna have any unexpected instability as we try to saw through these buildings with this overly complicated sawing mechanism. <laughs> Let me get this into the fully contracted state. Oh man, this is terrible when we're like trying to drive while we do this. All right, here we go. I think we're ready for our first test to see how destructive this thing is at pretty much minimum power. All right, three, two, one, extend. Okay. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. So now if I unattach from the ground, oh, and there goes the whole building. Perfect. Perfect. I mean, all you gotta do is take out the supports, right? All right, here, let's go over to this building now. Uh, and extend. Oh, there we go. I can't wait to see what if this thing's even gonna be able to function once we start ramping up the speed of these gears. They are going very controlled and slow right now. All right, and there we go. Final support beam is down. And then one more building over here to try it on. Look at that, it just contracted at just the right lengths as I turned to avoid the building and prepare for the full extension. Oh, look at, we're just eating the inside. This is actually pretty good. This is actually turning out pretty good. And there it goes. This is actually surprisingly effective. Like, it actually feels really controlled and precise. Like, I, I'm in control of what I'm doing. I'm just eating the insides of the building at this particular height. But, it's time to start pushing the limits a little bit more. Let's double the speed of this thing. I'm sure it's not gonna take much more before this thing just starts breaking and the gears get off center from each other and stuff like that. But uh, let's see what double the speed feels like. Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That actually looks good. All right, this is definitely going to need the uh, attachment block. So we are attached to the ground right now. And here we go, full extension. There it is. Oh. All right. Yeah, this definitely feels less precise for sure. I don't even know what's going on anymore. These gears are not having a good time. You can see that they're uh, they're skipping, and that is misaligning them. And the, oh, these are these free swivels are doing weird things. This is not this is not healthy. I have, there's a collateral damage on this building. Now it's just turning into a tail whip like situation. I don't. I don't think this is safe. It only took one step up in power to become completely unreliable and imprecise. 
I've just accidentally taken out an entire other building I wasn't even close enough, I didn't think, to do anything with. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, it's destructive. We definitely got more destructive, but way more dangerous in the process. Which, I mean, they kind of go hand in hand, don't they? But I feel like if you're gonna be a, um, if you're gonna be a high-functioning instrument of destruction, you want precision. You want to be able to destroy the things you want to destroy and avoid destroying things you don't want to destroy. And we've we've already surpassed that level of control. Well, there's only one way to go from here, and that is um up up in strength. Let's double it again. We're going from one to two, and now uh, I'm I'm just sure it's gonna be all out chaos. All right, I'm definitely attaching myself to the ground for this one though. You think it's even gonna work, or are we just gonna break right away? Here we go. Oh yeah, now it's just. I don't even know what to describe it. All right, I'm, I'm detaching from the ground now. <laughs> I'm not even trying to move. It took me with it. This is so cool. This is just stupid. It's silly and stupid and it's engineering and I'm here for it. <laughs> this is a perfect fit for this channel. We're upside down. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's get back, let's get back under control here. Oh, that was a good one. It cut out the bottom and then hit it again while it was falling, just calling it to, uh, causing it to tumble. I push button and I see what happens. That's pretty much the extent of this. All right, you know what? I think, uh, I think we've seen what happens when we just, when we ramp up gradually. I think it's time to go max power now. How about you guys? We're at two strength. Let's just go up to six. Now this might just be all out worse. We just might not have any ability to do anything here. Three, two, one, go. It's, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit let, I don't know. I don't even know anymore. I don't know how to feel. Whoa! Okay, now it's it's changing. It's got a couple different modes. It was on gentle for a second, and then it went up into max power. Nothing. I didn't change what I was doing. I was just holding down the same button. Why did that happen, though? I mean, I gotta be honest. The gears themselves actually seem to be functioning... Like, they, they seem to be keeping in line with what they're supposed to be doing. It's just the rest of the, the rest of the mechanism isn't responding fast enough. Oh, you know what? Here, let's try something here. Let me reinforce these. It didn't really matter that much. Doesn't seem to make them that much of a difference. I thought maybe it might stabilize them, but nope. Let's just try a different weapon on the front of this thing. Let's go with a blade. I think I can change the length of the blade too. There we go. I don't really like, I think any weapon is just going to do pretty much the same thing. We're just destroying buildings with impact. And let's dial this back down. I think, uh, I think strength one was its optimal performance. So let's dial back down to that and see how it feels with these swords instead. All right, here we go. Yeah, see, this feels more like we're punching this. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just scissors. We are the most dangerous pair of scissors I've ever seen. Didn't really plan on that being the end result. I didn't plan on, on it being just a scissor machine where we cut buildings with scissors, but that's what this ended up being. And I think it works fantastic. This is why they say don't run with scissors. So yeah, that was one cool, fun way to use gears in this game. Do you guys have any other things you'd like to see me attempt to build in this game? Let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this build or this video, you'll probably enjoy some other stuff on the channel that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.